Hey guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefine Horizons, and this is the second video showing how I put together a field package, this time in AutoCAD instead of in Inkscape. So if you watched the first video, you remember we set up our drawing in the right coordinate system, we imported our existing control, we fiddled around a little bit with getting these symbols, benchmark symbols to display and setting the point label style. We added the proposed location for the new control points, and then we added some road labels. So the map view is basically done for our plan, control survey plan, and now we want to go in and edit this text, which is kind of the instructions for the crew that go along with the exhibit. So first thing I'm going to do is get rid of that job number. We have a job, uh, regular job number because this is a volunteer project, pro bono project. And we also want to change the address. So let's get the guys the current address here is 1540. March Banks Drive. And this is in Walnut Creek, California. And the zip code there is 94598. Okay, we're going to come back to the punch list. We'll do that last. And uh, we'll come down here. And even though we don't have an official job number, we do have a job name. So this is the garden at Heather Farms in Walnut Creek. And it is uh, August 14th today. Okay, and this will probably, uh, this is actually going to have two sheets because we're going to have a little topo there too. So we'll say sheet one of two. All right, survey purpose. I always like to put this in here so my party chief knows what we're doing. So we'll say the purpose of the survey is to establish, is to, number one, establish primary, Survey control surrounding the project site. And number two, locate key features for the East Bay mud, water wise garden redesign. And we'll talk a little bit about that when we do our topo plan. Okay, and then right here, we're going to say site access. We've got a contact at the garden. And so let's go find that contact. All right, so I'm going to say foresight access, contact, and I'm just going to put in a placeholder here because I don't want to blast this person's contact info on YouTube. So we're going to say foresight access, contact Donald Duck at 209. Nine 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 nine. Field surveys can't start before 8 a.m. because my guys will be out there at 4 in the morning if I let them. And we're going to say uh, surveys must be completed on site before 2 p.m. because they have weddings there and other events in the afternoons. And uh, mapping limits. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. We'll have some mapping limits on the next sheet. And control methods, this is going to be important. It's a very important section right here. So I'm going to say collect static GNS observations on an existing control point for at least two hours. And we're going to go ahead and number this for the boys. So I want them to basically run a static base for at least two hours. Tie other existing control points shown with 20 minute fast static GNS sessions. And set and tie new primary control points the approximate 
locations shown this exhibit with 20 minute fast static GNSS sessions run differential level loop between all control points okay now it obviously looks a little funky way down there so <laughs> oh man let's see if I still have my text alignment line work let's go ahead and open up the layer uh, layer uh, manager and t -t 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 do not oh I do still have my text alignment layer cool all right so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna move this up this block of text here okay all right now we got our crew punch list so we're gonna say uh, set new control points And then we're going to put in parentheses, take photos and good notes. And then we're going to say perform fast, uh, perform, let's just say static GNSS survey. Okay, and then we're going to say. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, run level loop between all control points okay and that's probably good for this sheet Oop. so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this other text we don't need and then we want to run we want to move this up so let's see, it's going to be a little bit tricky. What I want to do is copy this from here to here. And then that gives me the point I need to just say, take this up to here. Nope. Let's try this again. I'm just trying to slide this text up. <laughs> I want to make sure I do it by the right distance. Uh, let's see. It should be some even value, like a tenth of a foot. It's probably two tenths of a foot. Yeah. All right. Okay, got our punch list. Now we can go ahead, we're going to come over here to the uh, home ribbon and we're just going to grab this freeze layer button and we're just going to freeze that text align layer. And then we'll save this. I think we got our first sheet ready to go. Uh, north is the correct direction. We got our scales in the right spot. You know what, I'm going to move this up just a little so we're not running into our actual drawing that we've got there. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and save this, and let's plot a PDF and see how this looks. So I'm just going to run the plot command. I'm already set, to, I've got my page layout set here to DWG to PF, PDF, DWG to PDF. I've got the right plot style there. We're going to say preview. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. Thing of beauty. So we're going to go ahead and say plot, and we'll plot that PDF. And uh, that's fine. For now, I'm just going to put it in my temp folder. I'll move it when we're done. And there it is. So this is the first sheet for the control survey. So we're going to go ahead and close that. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. We're about 10 minutes. That's where I like to keep it. And uh, we're going to do one more video. We'll set up Shet. Uh, shet. Yeah, we don't want to set up the Shet. That was dangerous. I almost said something else. <laughs> we're going to set up Sheet 2. Uh, which is for the uh, the topo plan here, okay? All right, so we're going to zoom extent, save that. Appreciate you guys watching, and uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next video.